What's up guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red, Red Run. In the last episode, we got the ruby for Celio and stopped Rocket, kind of, by helping Lorelei get them out of, what is, Icefall Cave. And in this episode, we travel forth to the best two islands in the game. Since the Rocket Warehouse has two passwords, and we only know one of them, we gotta figure out what the other one is. And I think the best way to go at that is to go to Six Island. Ah, oh, I love the music here. It's Olivine and, um... Shoot, what's the other one? I can't remember what other town has this theme, but it's it's definitely Olivine and something else. Uh, I sold some of the items because during a practice run I realized that my bag was full, so this was before infinite items were allowed. And I'm going to be buying some Max Repel, because I definitely don't want to run into any wild Pokemon. Even though it's rampant with Jota exclusive, or non-Kanto exclusive. I should say. Um, how's our team looking? Uh, I gave Pikachu the amulet coin, uh, Polly the never melt ice, and Arrow the left one of the leftovers. Uh, I didn't check my team. I was too busy explaining. Uh, we'll heal up just in case. Oh no! Hey, Red. How's your Pokedex feeling up? It looks like it's impossible to get all the Pokemon by hanging around. Just these parts. Maybe there are Pokemon we don't know about somewhere far away. Well, if I can't do it, there's no way you can get it done. I'm not going to get all desperate over this. I'll keep collecting Pokemon at my own pace while I train them. That's what I'll do. There's no point staying here. I may as well leave for home. That's that. Then smell you later. All right. Maybe we're done seeing him for the rest of our lives. Heal our Pokemon, please. And we're about to hear, in in my opinion, the best song in this game. Well, not this one, but when we hit a root on this, I, I just love this music. I don't know if I want to go right. I don't know if I'm ready for it. Ah. I'm not sure if this was a scrapped recording, because I, I did have to scrap a recording, too, actually. Uh, and I don't know if I've already mentioned this, but the Lake the lake of Rage theme plays here, and it's fantastic. Lake of Rage theme, slash the Route 42, 43, and 44 theme. Oh, it's just so good. Shut up, Pineapple Berry. I'm trying to listen to the best music in the game. Oh, yeah, I forgot to put a Max Repel on, didn't I? Oh, you're not a non-Kanto exclusive Pokemon. Get out of here. Alright, let's put up our Repel. I'm gonna turn my volume up. Ah, oh, I just love this music. It's just so good. Uh, Ask Bear Berry. See if we can avoid some of these. Ah! Tell me where are the mountains around these parts? You're pretty much on them, homeboy. I lost my way while I was busy battling. Oh, wow, I forgot the amulet coin. I guess I, I, I'll keep Pikachu at the front. And I'm definitely not getting on my bike here. You can forget that noise. Just love this music. And with the Max Repel, it's so much easier. In my practice recording, or in my practice run, I didn't have any repels on me, so I was just running into battles left and right. Uh, I should pick up some of those items, but... Eh. I can't be arsed. Alright, let's see if we can avoid these two. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to run into both of them. There appear to be many secrets still unsolved in this world. Like... Why are there so many of you guys? Oh, wait, you're a Ruin Maniac. Was the other guy a Ruin Maniac? I don't think he was. Hmm. 
I tried to change his voice, but he didn't say anything at the end. Um, I, I got so uh, sidetracked by talking about the awesome music that I forgot to say what we're going to be doing in this episode. We're going to be finding the other uh, gemstone that Celio needs. Uh, say something? No, okay. Huh, I wonder what this could be. Door doesn't budge at all. Check it more thoroughly? Yes. On closer inspection, there's several dots on the door. Hmm. Once again, I don't speak Braille, but I do know what that says. It says... Cut. Our Venusaur so strong cuts down steel doors. Yeah, the music's not as cool here. Oh well. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna be finding the other gemstone. And I have a feeling that it's gonna be in here somewhere. Huh. Well, since there's three direct, er, there's four directions: up, right, left, and down. And this one only has two letters. I'm uh, pretty sure that says up. Uh, so this could either be left or down, and it's definitely left, I know. Down's the last one you do. Uh, this one says right, so let's go right. And this last one, of course, is the other four-letter one, which is down. And that brings us to... <gasps> oh my, another gemstone. It's a sapphire. Let's pick this shit up. I guessed right. Actually, that doesn't fit him, really. I was right in telling you. I knew there was a sapphire here, so it belongs to me. I'll sell it to Team Rocket for serious money. Just don't glare at me like that. If you want it back, why don't you go get it after I sell it? I'll even tell you one of the passwords to Team Rocket's warehouse. The warehouse password I know is... Yes, nah, Chansey. I'm done. Don't think badly of me. That dick. He stole our sapphire. Let's go kill him. Uh... I'll definitely put on screen what it says, but basically what that thing says is, um... Now that we have the red, the ruby and sapphire, we can link to special worlds or something like that. I don't want to leave this music, but... We have to. Let's fly back to Five Island. Oh. Let's fly back to the island we're currently on. That voice really messed up my throat. Ah, oh, it's just such good music. Alright, let's head to the Rocket Warehouse now that we have both our passwords. Which is on Five Island. This is going to be a long episode, because the rocket warehouse is... In my practice run, it took me a little bit. Why am I going in here? I don't need to heal up. We'll get on our bikes. So when we go into this area... Oh yeah! It's the Lake of Rage theme here, too. I don't have a repel up, do I? No, I don't. Let's put a repel up so we don't have to run into any wild Pokemon. Yeah, you can catch, like... I, I, I can't remember all the Sevi or the uh, the non Kanto Pokemon that you can get here. Come on, look the other way. I know you can. He's totally not gonna look. There we go. Look at that. We're awesome. We're gonna get through here without any more random battles. No, that was stupid. You'd be wasting it. That was kind of a manly voice for her. You'd be wasting your time even if you were to get by me. Huh? Well, well, I like you. Redhead, black clothes, evil look in your face. If I wasn't already involved with Misty, I would totally consider you. Oh, that makes me furious. I bet it would. I bet it does. So can we get your number? You won't be able to get in without the passwords anyway. Let's not tell her that we actually do have the passwords. Uh, and let's move Snorlax to the front since he can do the most damage to the Rockets Pokemon. There's nothing past here except our warehouse. So that constitutes as nothing, huh? Idiot. So what brings you here? Well, actually, one of you bastards stole my sapphire. That wasn't supposed to happen. 
Oh yeah, and also, you're doing something about selling Pokemon or something. Anyway, enter the two passwords, Goldie need log, which backwards is Goldie need log, and yes, not nah, Chansey, which backwards is yes, not nah, Chansey. Gotta love palindromes. Whoops, door's already opened. And we have this creepy music again. I love it. Alright, now, I might have to cut around here because... I don't really remember the right way to go for this. Um, I think it's this way. And then... I've already gone the wrong way, unfortunately. Oh! How did we end up over here? Let's pick this up. Ooh, a pearl. We can sell that for more money. Uh, can we get this out without her noticing us? Yeah, we can. Blind. She's blind. Uh... This one. Damn it. Yeah, I, 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 I... When I said I don't like ice puzzles the most, I forgot completely about sliding puzzles. They're not good either. Oh, now your Pokémon look strong. You're willing to sell them? Oh, you want to, to battle? Why would I sell my Pokemon? You crazy girl. I like a crazy girl. You don't have a name though. And I can't call you Grunt, because that would just sound horrible. Oh, but too much. I guess we could call you Grunty, like Gruntilda. Did I make that joke? I don't think I did. I forgot which one I already took. MOTHERFUCKER! There we go. Alright, now where do we go from here? We stood right next to him and he did not see us. And I think the one we want to go to is this one. Huh. Well, we went in a complete circle. Let's see if he'll turn again. Nice. Then it's this one. Yes, okay. And then you gotta be careful not to overshoot this. Because you definitely don't want to get off the beaten path once you finally get on it. Sweet. Let's pick up what's on the table. Sludge Bomb, which is the last move that I was gonna teach one of my Pokemon. To my knowledge, I can't think of any more. And I'm going to teach it to Venusaur eventually, but since it's not really necessary right now, might as well just wait. And we gotta battle this guy. I got worried about you from the others, but there's no way a kid like you know our boss Giovanni. We beat him three times. He gave us a badge. Don't you dare laugh. Uh, bah ha 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 ha. I like how all these guys have the same voice because I'm right shit at doing new voices. And I think we have the first of the admins here, and pay attention to her lineup, hint hint wink wink. I don't know or care if what I'm doing is right or wrong. I just put my faith in Giovanni as I do as I'm told. Well that's a weird way to go at life. Admin, whatever your name is. Team Rocket Admin, you look exactly like the grunts. And since you got all poison type Pokemon and we have a Snorlax with Earthquake, you're scr damn it. I had to open my big fat mouth. Now this is probably gonna miss. Ooh! Excellent. How much damage does that do? Ah, oh, cause we're awesome. Our level 60 is way more than a match for your level 52. Arbok. Psh, whatever. What's it gonna do? Lower my attack. Oh, totally did. That's unfortunate. I really like these side quests too. Like, really, the whole Sevi Island deal is amazing. It's like kind of off the. It's kind of like out of the norm for a Pokemon series. Ah, oh, you're kidding me! Look how close that was. And of course, she's gonna use a hyper potion. What, that Hyper Potion actually restored your Arbok's health all the way up? Psh, Hyper Potions don't work on my Snorlax anymore. We're too strong for that. Look at that, 276. He has to have 76 
health left before that would even work, or for that to still work. And the last one is Vile Plume, and since Snorlax is our fire user, actually, since I only have one use, I want to save it, so let's just hyper beam this thing straight to hell. I just turned my volume way up by accident. It is ridiculously hot in here. I don't think my AC unit's on. This could be bad for recording. Alright. Finally. We're up to 18 minutes and 50 seconds. So yeah, and there's two more battles and I'm going to show them all. You're doing things according to your beliefs and morals. I understand now. I've made it so you can come back in through there. Why don't you go get rested and refreshed for what lies ahead? The admin after me outranks me thoroughly as a trainer. You'd better steal yourself. You'd better steal yourself for one harsh challenge. All right. Well, I'm gonna take her advice, and I will meet you guys back here. So, uh, I hear you're an admin, a woman in power, cute, and in power. I like it. So, uh, even though you're kind of evil, you wanna go out sometime? Ah, oh, Misty, what am I thinking? I have Misty to worry about. Let's talk to this computer nerd. That's quite enough of you playing the hero, kid. Spreading lies about how Team Rocket is, has disbanded is such an obvious attempt to cause confusion in our ranks. Fortunately, we're not so ignorant to fall for the lies of a child. And now, I'll show you how scary an angry adult can be. Uh, how angry is that, Mr. Other Admin, who looks exactly like a grunt? Also pay attention to his team. A Golbat. If I knew you were going to have a Golbat and I wouldn't have brought out my awesome Snorlax, I would have brought out my awesome Pikachu. Oh, come on, Snor. Hit him with your hit him with your Hyper Beam. How hard is it? I mean, I know he's a tiny target because he's a bat and all. This is going to be annoying, isn't it? Yeah, this is going to be annoying. Fuck this. I'm going to I'm going to bring out Pikachu. the number one reason I will never use a crowbat on my team is because it evolves from these bastards. Wow! No! Ah! I hit the D-pad at an angle. Well, that's great. That's great. We just lost our Pikachu. I'm just gonna cut to the end of this battle and tell you what he had. Actually, no. I'm gonna leave it in. I just... I hate Golbat, Zubat, Crobat. They just are the worst Pokemon ever. And if he heals him, then I'm definitely cutting to the end. Alright, good, he didn't heal him. Of course, now we're without a Pikachu. Alright, Golbat down. Is that his first Pokemon? Did his first Pokemon do that much damage to the team? It totally did, didn't it? Um... Let's bring Snorlax out since his his confusing uh, hacks has been reset. And then I think they have Levitate, so let's just Hyper Beam him. Sludge Bomb, what are you gonna do? Poisonous? We have immunity. Weezing is a wall though, so okay. Wow, oh, critical hit. That sucks. I feel like Weezing could have uh, held his own against that. And Houndoom. We're gonna keep our Snorlax out. I like Houndoom. Houndoom is a Houndoom is a great Pokemon. Dark and Fire type is fucking awesome typing. But he's gonna fall to our Earthquake. Poor guy. Sixty-one, nice Snorlax, nice. Two hundred and eighty HP. Ugh, you were too strong. But that's Giovanni's badge, so it's true. Team Rocket really has disbanded. Yeah, you couldn't just take our word for it. We will abandon this warehouse, but don't think this is over. I, I won't let this be the end. I will find Giovanni, and I will resurrect Team Rocket. I will. Until then, farewell. And the other girl disappeared too. And I will meet you guys back here after I heal again, because I want Snorlax to be in tip-top shape. 
So I was reading this computer, it's got some interesting things on it. A report with graphs and text is on the PC monitor. The influence of magnetic waves on Pokemon evolution. Hmm. It's too difficult to understand, but that's a weird title. I wonder what they're talking about. And who do I want to move to the front? I'm content keeping Snorlax at the front. Alright, let's take on this last guy. How did I do his voice again? I almost managed to sell this. I, I really don't remember how I did it. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Almost managed to sell the sapphire for huge money. Then you just had to come along and blow the whole deal apart. <laughs> There's no forgiveness for you. That's what it was. There's no forgiveness for you. Blah 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 sapphire. Gideon. Nice name. You've got a shit team though. We're gonna earthquake your entire team. I'm gonna leave this in since it's the last thing we're gonna do in this episode. Kind of. Definitely need to drink some water after that though. His his voice that I already forgot again is kind of hard to do. Let's see, he's got six Pokemon, five Pokemon, sorry. And I'm pretty sure they're all electric type, so Earthquake is just gonna wreck his team. Especially the ones that are part steel type. Magnemite. Nope, nope, nope. Might have the most resistances, but it's four times weak to Earthquake. Poor thing. Poor thing. Also, why does he have, like, a Voltorb and a Magnemite? Why aren't they Magneton and Electrode? I mean, I know that he's got those on his team as well, but why have under -evolved, why have unevolved Pokemon on your team? Don't look at my Pikachu or my Eevee. There's a good explanation for the Eevee. I can't evolve him yet. Pikachu, on the other hand, Red just needs to say fuck it to his Pikachu and evolve him into a Raichu. And Porygon. Yeah, let's let's bring out Let's bring out Polly. We'll take him out with our with our our Pokemon our best Pokemon. Well kind of not really our best, but Red's favorite. Copied my damp. Does that mean I can't use explosion on it? Oh damn. What are we ever gonna do without explosion, guys? And we're done. I like his cry. I really do. God, Don, Don. If I can't sell it, it's worthless. Go ahead and take it. I think he's had three different voices. Tell me something. What do you want from me now? Go on, get lost. Leave me be. Huh. Thought there was something. There's another hint here, but I think I, I think I might have passed it up. I think I would have had to talk to the other, the other teammates, but whatever. Let's just get out of here. Huh. Just trying to look for another Easter egg. But, now that we've got the Sapphire, let's fly back to Celio and hand it to him. I feel like I was lacking in my commentary department today. Let's just fly back to... Actually, yeah, let's fly over to Four Island. The small island that it is. It's got Ice Cave, though, so Ice Fall Cave. We're up to almost, well, not almost, we're up to 29 minutes of recording. Uh, one island, please. Take us to Celio. You guys ready? Here we go. So this is that gem that forms a pair with the ruby? Red, you've gone through a lot to get this, didn't you? You don't have to tell me. I know it wasn't easy. Thank you so much. Now it's my turn to work for you. Now please give me a little time. Okay, this is good. I did it! I linked up with Lynette! Red! Red, I did it! You did Lynette? Nice! I've managed to link up with trainers in the Hoenn region. Finally, the network machine is fully operational. Red, I owe it all to you. Thanks to you, my dream came true, and my voice got shot. And finally, 
we can trade our EV over and evolve it into Espeon. In the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys.